I can't even count the number of times that I've made a cute little Sims family, you know, come in and then couldn't find a house for them on the gallery, didn't want to build a whole new one, and ended up just playing in one of the boring base game starter homes. And no one wants to play in a boring base game starter home. They're old, <laughs> they're icky, they're dark, and that's just not fun. And so today I'm going to show you guys some of my tips for renovating a boring, icky house in The Sims and upgrading it a little bit. And this goes for any house, not just a starter home. Like if your Sims have kind of earned a little bit of money and you want to do some things to upgrade their houses, this is what I would do to make a cheap starter home into something a little bit nicer. And oh, would you look at that? One of my households here, Mariana and her daughter, they're moving to Willow Creek. They've got 22,000 simoleons. We can afford one of these three houses. They're all kind of, um, yeah, <laughs> icky, <laughs> but they're also pretty cheap. But we're gonna pick this one. It's only one bedroom. We're gonna renovate it to have two bedrooms so that we can have a room for our toddler. And luckily we have 6,000 simoleons-ish to renovate this house and that's plenty of money. So we'll move in. <laughs> And I'm gonna have a budget of 5k and we're gonna try and renovate this house. Okay, I'm sorry. First of all, I am not gonna deal with icky cloudy weather. Make it sunnier outside. <laughs> but here's our house. As you can see, it is really dark inside, very sparsely furnished, only one bedroom, and um has an interesting color scheme in the kitchen and bathroom, <laughs> but it's just not enough space for our sims and there's like nothing going on here. There are a few things that we're seriously lacking. For example, I don't know, a bedroom for our toddler. I think that computers are one of the most important items in The Sims 4. We don't have one of those. And honestly, this big long hallway right in the entryway, kind of ugly. I'm one to talk though, because my house has a big long hallway right in the entryway, but like we can fix that here. <laughs> we can't fix that in my house, but we can fix it in this one. And so we're gonna spend a little bit of money to try and fix it. And honestly, you guys, my first step, I'm telling you right now, it's too dark in here. We gotta fix that. Luckily, lights and windows are a huge way to upgrade a house with a little bit of money because these lights have got to go. It is not the move. We are not using them. All these dumb wall lights and everything, it's not gonna happen. My favorite lights are a base game one. They're a little bit expensive, but I like them a lot. They're very bright and they look really similar to what like a normal light in my house looks like. Like this is the kind of light I have in my house everywhere. Just like a simple, not very very um, offensive <laughs> big light because I think some of these lights in The Sims 4, I mean, they're big, they're colorful, and they're fun, but they don't really work for just like a plain standard everyday room. And that's all we need right now, you know? And also, again, they're very bright because some of the lights, they have kind of a very directed light where like with this one, you'll see that it only lights up underneath it. We don't want that. We want these big bright lights that fix the whole room. And also, windows are super cheap in the game and they're huge for lighting and also for wall decorations because wall art in The Sims 4 is really expensive. And so to decorate a room with art on the wall, I mean, this stuff can cost like hundreds of simoleons, especially the nice stuff. And we don't really have that kind of money right now. And so we can use windows to fill up wall space. And speaking of wall space, I hate medium and tall wall heights, especially in small houses, because it makes the room, you have these big, big, vast, empty walls. If we make them a little bit shorter, it just feels a little bit less empty inside, you know? It's a little bit cozier, and we can actually work with this. Now, I'll put some more windows down in a second, but we're actually gonna change the whole floor plan of this house, because we only have a little bit of money, and we wanna be able to fit in two bedrooms, and I think that we're wasting a lot of space with this big hallway, so I wanna flip the side of the house that the bedrooms are on. Basically, I want to put them in the back of the build. So I'm gonna draw a wall back here and I'm gonna make us have two bedrooms here. We'll have to move some of the furniture around a little bit, but here's my plan. We'll put the master bedroom in this bigger one. I'm actually gonna make the bigger bedroom a tiny bit bigger. <laughs> and then I'll keep the bathroom where it is, but I'm just gonna rotate it the other way. And then we're gonna have this whole space here of big open area. So I kind of just blocked it out a bit. All the rooms are in the back because then we're gonna have a big open space in the front of the house that we can use for a living room and dining room. Obviously our furniture is kind of all over the place right now, but we'll put some doors down. And I think this already made a huge difference in the build. There's plenty of space for the kids and the mom to sleep and then we have this space over here. I think what I'll do is I'll put the dining room in this area, like this kind of little open area, and we'll have a living room here. And look at that fancy open floor plan. <laughs> and we barely spent any money and we just built some walls. Now another thing, this door, we can center that finally with the staircase because gross. <laughs> and we'll repaint all the walls to just match the same color for now. We'll change the color scheme in a second. But I think that already made a big difference. Okay, next, I I wanna make sure we actually have all the items we need before we spend any money on like cosmetic things. We gotta make sure we actually have a functional house. So we have a toddler, which means we need to have a bathtub. So unfortunately our shower is gonna have to go and we're gonna replace it with a combo tower. 
tower shub? A combo tower shub. <laughs> now the combo shower and tubs are a little bit more expensive. They're like 845 simoleons, but showers are a lot faster than baths for your adult sims and your toddler needs a bath. So we kind of have to like eat that cost, but it's nice and it makes it, the place look a little bit fancier, right? Like it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm going to delete all the windows on the side of the house because we're going to redo them in a second once we figure out what we want to do with these rooms. But like I said, windows are a huge way to make the place look better. And then of course our toddler needs some stuff. So we're going to give her all the things that she requires. For example, a toddler bed, <laughs> maybe even a little bookcase. We'll keep a high chair in the hallway. I'll put the toddler potty. Can I fit it inside of the bathroom? We'll decorate them in nicer places in a second. Second, but we'll just place the items we need for now. I think I want to put this dollhouse down because one, it's kind of big and kind of cheap, so it fills up the room. But we can get the imagination skill from it. Also, toddlers need a bear. You get social skills so fast from bears in The Sims 4, it's so useful. And I want to pick one of these as well, the nesting blocks, and then we should be able to cover a lot of our toddler skills. And we'll just um, reorganize that room in a second. <laughs> I mentioned it earlier, but computers are huge in The Sims 4, and they're a little bit more expensive than a TV costs, but honestly, this computer, 300 more smillions than this TV. They have the same fun and rel reliability level, but you can do so much more with a computer. So your Sims can get their fun at the same rate just by like, you know, playing games on it and stuff, but they can also work. You know, they can be programmers or writers or whatever, and they can do so many more things on a computer than a TV. So oftentimes in cheap houses, I'll opt for a computer instead of a TV, but for now we're gonna try and have both. I don't really know if we can afford this super easily, but <laughs> we'll try. But now we have everything we actually need. Let's do some cosmetic upgrades, okay? <laughs> Step one, the wall color is ugly and also expensive. We can cheapen the wallpaper to one of these two simoleon ones and we'll earn some money back, which I think we could use right now. I'm gonna do the same thing with flooring. If we put carpet in the bedrooms, we can get some money back off this expensive wood floor. And we could even pick the cheapest wood floor instead and earn some more money back. It's those little things where like, it's kind of a downgrade on the flooring, but this way we can afford like some decorations, you know? And then you can change the floor later on when you have some more money. Cause it doesn't really make that big of a difference, you know, as far as the floor coloring goes. But I wanna talk about the kitchen for a second cause it is a mess in here and we are not <laughs> gonna live like this. So I'm gonna change it around. One, cause the archway's in a different spot now. So we have to kind of move some things around, but let's just start for starters. We're not gonna have that yellow appliance. That's horrible. I'm also gonna add an extra counter because I think it looks a little bit nicer. So I just made a few simple changes with like the layout of the kitchen. I think it looks a lot better already. We can't really afford cabinets, but if we could, I might just put them on the one side, like just on that wall. And if you use this button, you can make it so you can have all the counter pieces and you can kind of change around which ones you want. And so you can sort of vary the different shapes you're using and I think that makes a big difference. They're all the same price, but you can kind of like get access to different kinds. It looks nice. I don't know if we can actually afford those cabinets, but we'll we'll keep them there for now. And we can't afford many decorations either, but I might just put in a couple things like a fruit bowl and a plant just so it doesn't look quite as empty in here. Maybe a rug on the floor in front of the sink. And then of course we can change the tiles. I think that looks a lot better. And it's just like some simple cosmetic changes, you know? <laughs> I'll use that same tiling in the bathroom as well. And we'll scoot the toddler potty back a little bit, make it maybe a prettier color. Some purple is always fun. And probably put a window in there. Cause again, we don't have much money, but we can at least afford windows. They cost like 35 simoleons for these cheap ones. Definitely useful to keep in the build. Now the living space is something <laughs> for sure. I would pick a rug. It makes the room seem more full. It kind of like defines that little space you're using as a living room. I kind of want to use a square rug, but this one's a little bit expensive. Maybe we won't use it. <laughs> Dang it. Now here's a fun tip. You can size up and down objects in The Sims 4. And sometimes rugs are just a little bit too small, but if you use the bracket keys on your keyboard. You can size them up and sometimes it looks really good and works very well for your space, especially for things like rugs, sometimes plants, paintings. You can take like a really teeny tiny painting and make it like a little bit bigger to fill up the wall more, but not be more expensive. So we could use this cute little rug and then have, you know, something really cheap on our floor but also fill up more space. I feel like for this house, we have to pick a green couch, you know? I mean, <laughs> with the green windows and stuff, we just, we gotta, we gotta make it work. Honestly, we can make this be green too. 
No, I'm sorry, we won't do that. Just the living room. Now this has to go, I'm sorry, I can't deal with that. I wanna put a cheap coffee table down. And honestly, I like to use one of these sort of tables, one of the console tables that are a little bit taller to fit the TV on. Now, unfortunately, TVs don't actually slot to them, which is really annoying. But if you type in the cheat bb.moveobjects on, you're able to move things like this kind of wherever you want. And then you can take them and if you press the nine key, you can raise objects up and then you can sort of place it to the right height without it actually slotting there. And I think that looks cute. <laughs> and we can put some things like maybe a big plant in the corner to fill up a lot of space. This is one of my favorite plants in the game. I think it's really cute. And if you're feeling extra crazy, you could even put some things like curtains down, maybe some more windows, <laughs> you know, fill up the space a little bit. Now I kind of want a chair that has some more color because right now this space is a lot of beige, but see chairs can kind of start to get a little expensive. <laughs> now these are technically patio chairs, but I actually really like them. I don't know what it is. I think they're cute and I have been known to use them inside of houses before <laughs> but since I'm so worried about budget I think I'm gonna go for a slightly more expensive table make it be glass and then just pick some of these cheaper chairs I'm also only gonna put four because like I said I'm a little bit worried about budget <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> I think we must pick a cheaper plant. This plant, super cheap, works for a lot of places. We might have to use that one in here for now. Also this plant, super cheap and big, so it works in a lot of places too. I think that if you can make cheap plants work, it fills up space as well, and they look nice. Also, I'm not ashamed of using the same plant twice in one room. Like, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, okay? Things like plants and lamps can be really cheap ways to add little touches to rooms like this. And now we are left with the bedrooms, <laughs> which we have to make some very cheap adjustments to. I really want a rug, and luckily this one's kind of cheap. I like to put it in kids' rooms because it is so cheap. I think we're gonna have to pass on the bookcase though, which is so sad, but I'm gonna replace it with this, this little toy box, because it looks kind of like it could be a nightstand, but also it adds a lot of toys for your sims to play with. And I think that room, while sad and kind of empty looking, <laughs> is the best we can do. And I wanna just put some cheap side tables in the master bedroom, maybe a big rug, similar. <laughs> and then cheap, a tiny plant and a tiny lamp <laughs> on the bedside tables. Now, I've went a little bit over budget, which I feel bad about, but listen, I really need a mirror too. It makes a big difference, okay? <laughs> and one of these plants, I'm sorry. This is why I'm starting to think we shouldn't have picked these. You know what? Yeah the cabinets have to go. You gotta make sacrifices sometimes. But that is the whole inside renovated. Unfortunately, the outside is also a nightmare. And honestly, this landscaping is god awful. Just make it go away. I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to landscape on a super, super low budget because that is just bad and such a waste of money. <laughs> I'm also gonna delete the whole terrain paint because that's just awful too. What I'm gonna do is move the lot over a tiny bit to make it a little bit more centered. See how I'm doing the outside last because I wanna make sure we had the most of our money spent on the inside and then we can spend a tiny bit of money to fix the outside. A Little bit of terrain paint to make a little sort of walkway into the front of the house. Luckily there's some very cheap trees in the base game like this hawthorn tree only 85 simoleons so we can put that in the front there maybe another one on the side of the house no this whole house exterior could use a big big makeover <laughs> so i'm going to start by changing the fences in the front because again these front fences are awful and very expensive so if we change them all to upgrade it to be a little bit less green <laughs> you can save a bunch of money and also make it look a little bit more modern and now i like these little spandrels they've done as much as the next guy but I think that they could use a bit of an upgrade too so I'm putting the cheapest white ones instead and I'm just gonna change the entire trim of the house to be white instead and I think it makes it have more of a quaint little like oh look at my cottage type of look instead of the green look we had before and if you can't afford the spandrels, honestly, you don't need them. At this point, every hundred simoleons matters, you know? I also usually, when I'm making a house like this, I like to have the overhang there. So you can see if you just take this, click on the roof piece and pull down the overhang, I think it makes it look a little bit better. Obviously up to you, I just prefer that look on my builds instead of a spandrel type look. And I think patios are a great place to put any kind of like weird skill building things you need. So for example, my Sim's a painter, she needs an easel. Having it on the front patio is kind of cute. If you want to put like a chess table in the front of the house, things like that are good to fill up patios and also like it's a good spot to just get it out of your house and have it outside. And it's still covered so they won't get rained on. You put maybe like a little 
mat in front of the door, <laughs> cheap light outside, stuff like that makes a little bit of a difference. And then of course we have to landscape, but cheaply. <laughs> I like these plants as filler because they only cost like 55 simoleons and you can kind of use them to like fill up the lower levels in the front. And in the back you can pick some bigger flowers and stuff. Obviously flowers are kind of expensive. So you want to do things like size up one of these little daisy bushes. They're only 35 simoleons. <laughs> so you could like size up a couple of them and use them as landscaping. Look at that, bushes on a budget. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of terrain paint under them. Oh my God, the terrain paint glitch is so annoying. But terrain paint is free. <laughs> you can always change roof textures too if you want to add like a completely different change roof textures wall colors all of that really transforms a house obviously I mean you could make it like unrecognizable this way you know but with that you see we still have like 1300 simoleons left you have a super cheap renovation all base game of a starter home. It only takes a few thousand simoleons to like upgrade some of the basic empty houses we have in the game. And now it's two bedrooms. And you have some money left over if you wanted to add some more things or in case you had to pay bills or whatever. But there you have it. <laughs> Lil Simsy's pro tips for being cheap in The Sims 4. If you like videos like this, let me know because I want to do more kinds of pro tips for building in The Sims. I love this kind of thing. So if you like it too, please tell me. But with that being said, please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Please subscribe to me. I mean it when I say that, please, please subscribe. Also follow me on Twitch, please. <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash Okay, bye.